out here just by 1806. They GPSed all of those sacred sites and they were putting a cease and desist into Dakota Access so that those sites wouldn't be desecrated. So they submitted all of that information to Dakota Access Energy Transfer Partners. So they knew exactly where those sites were by GPS. And yesterday, skipped over 15 miles from when they were on Highway 6 and came to that site and bulldozed it. Intentionally came out and bulldozed those sites that are there are burial sites out there and they, they hit at least two burial sites. That was all that, that was what happened yesterday when people ran up because it was just all, it wasn't planned. People just seen them digging and they ran up there. And they did it so that the tribe wouldn't have time to order a cease and desist on the long weekend. And now that those sites are desecrated, they just probably have to offer like a monetary, like money. Like, oh, sorry. So the Dakota Access Energy Transfer Partners yesterday intentionally went out and desecrated a sacred site. Today, we want to march from the middle barricade up to where they started digging. We have a banner that says, defend the sacred, because what the cops did was they, they're they spinning the story like we attacked them. They're the ones that provoked us. They're the ones that came here and did this intentionally, and people ran out to stop them. By those people running out and stopping them, they actually, you who, who you all know who you were that were out there yesterday, you stopped them from destroying more sites. So think, think the creator that you guys were there, because they would have destroyed even more. Thank you guys so much. I know it got crazy. I know it escalated, but thank you from the bottom of my heart for protecting those sites. And um, asking the women to wear skirts, bring your cedar, bring your sage, we're gonna bring those um, smudge buckets. Because there's, there's burial sites, there are spirits that are out there that have been disturbed and we need to protect ourselves even though we're going in a good way. We gotta make sure that we don't disturb them more and bring them back. We're not gonna go right up to where the site is. We're just gonna go where they start digging. The site's a little further back from the road. We're not gonna take everybody there. But we wanna show that why we're here. We're native people that have been here and have, if they would've, if they would've protected our treaty rights in the first place, if they would've re respected us in the first place, we wouldn't even be here right now. And we're all here in this camp because we want to stop the Dakota Access Pipeline from desecrating more sacred sites. We want to stop them from putting this in the water, which is going to go downstream. This is an environmental racist issue because they actually were going to originally put that pipe north of Bismarck. Everybody in Bismarck started complaining, so they moved it above a reservation and then it was approved. We are here, this is great, it's been beautiful to see everybody coming together and hanging out here and singing, but the real reason we're here is to stop the Dakota Access Pipeline and to stop them from desecrating any more sites. We're asking everybody today, please join us. Drive your cars up to the middle barricade. We're, at, we're giving you a half an hour notice in case people want to walk from here, it's, it's farther. Go to the middle barricade site and meet us. Bring your banners, your signs, bring your medicines. And we're going to smudge and we're going to pray. Because we want the media and the rest of the world to know we're going to have one of our drones flying above. And we want those images to go out. And not those lies that those cops are talking about us. So, Matsukidad, thank you everybody. We're heading out to the site. Fox News is here. Wondering if they're going to lie about us. Oh, what's that guy's name? We'll see if they're gonna lie. Anyway, we're heading out to, uh, we're doing a plan of action. This is Rocky Hall, and today is September 4th, 2016. Today we're leaving Red Warrior Camp, heading to the first site and going to do a plan of action. A lot of the women are walking up here in their dresses and they're going to be doing prayers and smudges. And then we're going to be going to the second site where we were yesterday, September 3rd, where uh, Dapple employees assaulted us. So you've got uh, people heading this direction. Why does my car sound funny? Oh, why does my car sound funny? Damn it. So when you re leave Red Warrior Camp, the, the speed limit through here, they've slowed it down because of all the 
the uh, amount of traffic. We have to have a good 4,000 people here this uh, Labor Day weekend. This is absolutely incredible. So, turn off the radio. And you can fast forward at this time, it's all good. Junction, North Dakota, 134. And this is where they do the walk every day. They go from Red Warrior Camp to the first protest site or protection site where they were breaking ground and the heavy equipment was there. And then they've moved it. But uh, what I was just informed about was that the sacred burial sites that were dug up yesterday uh, had been GPSed and Dapple knew exactly where they were because they had the GPS coordinates and what they did was they just came in on Saturday a three-day weekend thinking they could just plow through those and they went exactly through them they knew where they were and they went right through them so we're coming up on the first protest site protection site excuse me I wish people wouldn't walk in the road makes it a little hairy but there's a lot of cars already up here I'm gonna pull to the front and try to get as much video as I can uh, but this is where the first set of people are gonna be and this is gonna be huge because there are so many people at the camp this is gonna be a big old cluster I hope not Everybody's been told how to park, park off the road, pass the white line, stay out of traffic, and all that good stuff. I've been told to wear my skirt, but I am not close to my campsite, and I want to get the footage. So that's what I'm going to do. So, people are showing up, and this is awesome, truly awesome. They've moved the cement barricades, as you can see, they've been moved over there. I don't know who did that, but uh, I think I can park here. That looks really good, and it looks like I can do that. It doesn't hurt to pull off the road a little ways. Real quick, I'm just letting you see how many cars are here. And they're backed up for miles and miles, and there's miles and miles of cars. Lots and lots of people. I don't know if I can show how far they're backed up. Uh, I can't see the end. I can't see the end. It says no parking here, but I'm parking really fast to get an uh, overview of what's happening here. And again, you can see that, oh, maybe I see the end of the line of the cars. Maybe I do. Maybe I don't. Okay. This is the first. Protest site protection site. This is the first protection site where they were breaking ground there. And their equipment's over the hill, I do believe, unless they've moved it. But uh, this is only a couple miles from Red Warrior Camp. And this is how close the other site is. And there's this many cars here, let alone the ones that we just saw back there. So... I'm going to drive through to park on the other side or turn around and park and we'll find a place to park here. Doopa, doopa, doopa. Where do I want to park? 
So this just kind of gives you a real good idea of how many people are out here as well. A couple horses and people are camping here. So they're keeping an eye on the pipeline and seeing what's happening. There's probably 50 people camping out here. There's, there's a lot anyway, so I just wanted to say that. And I'm gonna flip a Yui. I have all wheel drive. Doopa doopa doopa. This kind of gives a view from this side of the showing up. And I know the wind is bad. I hope this new mic works. I bought a new mic. Doopa doopa. So it actually works. Oops. Okay, it is 6 p.m. and we're just leaving. I'm just leaving. They're not quite finished, but uh, oh, I'm hurting for certain. And there's hundreds of people, hundreds and hundreds of people. And I just left that site, and this is about a mile or so away, coming back on the other site. Uh, 1806 North Dakota and they did uh, prayer ceremonies and smudging and they asked everybody not to film or photographs I know that there are some films and photographs out there because not everybody was listening but I do try and so I'm heading back uh, gonna get me a shower I need a shower and hopefully you can see all these cars here. Uh, I didn't take pictures of the, all the cars up there, but you did see them. I, did, I know that guy's an asshole. He's passing everybody. What a jerk. Okay. So he must be in a hurry to get to the casino or something. I don't know. So all the flags, all the people, tons and tons. A lot of people didn't take their cars up to the other side, they just walked, that's why all these cars are here. But there's just as many cars up there, so that tells you how many people. I mean, they were walking up so long after that. And I'm going to try to get my rear view mirror and show you what's behind me. I don't know what, how much you can see, but... Uh, so... Dapple is not here today. Uh, looks like they might have taken the day off. And that's about all I got to say. Tired and heading back. It's very windy. It has gotten cold. The car says it's 77, but it's not 77. <laughs> uh, Okay. It was very peaceful today. Very, very peaceful. A lot of prayers, a lot of smudging, dancing, singing, and the such. And you can see the cars just go on and on and on. I'm doing 20 miles an hour and... Wow, the cars are still going on and on and on. Some people got a heck of a walk. Let's go till I see the end of the cars. Uh, I'd say about 20 horses, maybe? Approximately. So these areas are kind of far apart uh, from beginning to end, but close together, if that makes any sense. Uh, guy jumped in the back of that truck, so we'll slow down. Okay, well, I'm going to go back, and that's what happened today. I hope this video makes sense. I'm going to have to work on this. You guys know I'm a rookie. I am not a journalist. I just have a cheap camera, and I do my best to get this stuff out. So, um... Uh, I got a call today from some friends in Oregon, 
and they asked to help me, which was amazing. <laughs> because I don't usually get that. So I was a little kind of like, huh, what do I do? Okay, sure. So uh, thanks, my friends in Oregon. You guys are awesome. That's incredible. Thank you. Rocky out. Okay, so I'm not finished. I'm gonna go ahead and show you again the size of the camp this weekend. It has grown substantially. Uh, I mean, they're way back, oops, driving on Braille. They're way back here, and I tried to get a bunch of pictures of the flags again. I don't know, I got a little hang up with the uh, flags. I like them. I like to hear the stories behind the flags. So, uh, again, I just wanted to show there's, I'm thinking 4,000 people this weekend. Uh, even with the roadblock on 1806 that they did, it didn't matter. People made their way. Some might have gotten discouraged, but uh, I would say not too much. Uh, Fox News was here. I don't think they let them go down there. I think they told them to kick rocks because they're just a bunch of boneheads. So. Windy today, very windy today. I love all the horses, it's really cool. And that's the tribal police that just went by. But this gives you a real good idea of the amount of people. And I saw a sign today that said they had AA meetings. Uh, somebody's just doing it out of his van. I think I might go to that tomorrow. It's the white van behind the kitchen at noon. I assume that means every day. Just awesome. I know I say that word too much, but this gives you a good idea. Cannonball River. No diving from the bridge, no fishing from the bridge. There's a cross there, looks like someone might have lost their life there. There's a cross on the bridge. Entering Standing Rock Indian Reservation. Dapple plus water equals death. Dapple equals genocide. And a bunch of horses. The weather's definitely turned. Okay, now my car says it's 69 degrees outside. That's more realistic. Uh, I mean, just in a couple days it dropped. I was sweating to death yesterday and freezing today. I'm not freezing, I'm just chilly. So. Okay, heading for the shower, then gonna upload these videos. Thanks, guys.